بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد عبده ورسوله ارسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليذهله على دين كل وكفى بالله شهيدا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارهام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان خير الكلام كلام الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار وبعد يا بنز سيسز الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله على كل حال الحمد لله رب العرش العظيم الله تبارك وتعالى has blessed us to again be here in obedience to his command يا ايها الذين امنوا اذا نوري السلام من يوم الجمعه فسوا ذكر الله وذروه به O people of Iman when the call is made hasten to the master come to the master quickly answer the call and leave off all business and trouble so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah I woke up this morning alhamdulillah we woke up this morning you know and shaitan you know nuzul billah min dalik he puts three knots in our head we get up we praise allah we get rid of one we make the wudu we get rid of another and then we make the salah and the third night comes up alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the quran kuntum khayra ummatan ukhrijat lin nas ta'maruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhawna 'anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah that you you sitting on this masala a part of the best of peoples who will be extracted from mankind the best of people many a call if you chose you see tukmanuna billah you believe in allah first of all we order to the good we order to the good we command the good and we speak against the munkar the evil and we believe in allah this is the prerequisite to being of the best of people that we speak against we speak for the good and against the evil and depending on the situation speaking for the good might differ if you're speaking to a non-muslim the good would be Islam test accept Islam and be saved if you're speaking to a brother or a sister yeah akhi ya ukhti fear Allah fear Allah on our deeds fear Allah on our words Fear Allah, be mindful of Allah. Ascend, the highest level we can ascend to means that we act and we speak as if Allah Taala is right in front of us and we see Him. But we know, well, life we can't see Him. Why, oh, yeah, He sees us. He sees us. You won't be accountable, maybe, for what you think. But if you put those thoughts into actions and words, you got to pay the price. You have to pay the price. 
Alhamdulillah. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has made us Muslims. He's given us this beautiful deen of Islam. And he says, Al Yawma Akmal to Lakum Deenakum. وَعَتْمَمْتُ وَعَلَيْكَ النِّعْمَةِ وَعَدِيْتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينًا This day was the day of Arafat. I continue your deed to you. وَعَتْمَمْتُ وَعَلَيْكَ النِّعْمَةِ I bestow upon you my ni'mah, my favors. وَعَدِيْتُ And I'm pleased. لَكُمْ For you. Islam is the deed. Islam is the deed. The submission to Allah is the way. This is the way. And the best way that we can submit to look at the mean is by following the Sunnah of Mustafa. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa'ati Allah for Qala Ta'a Rasul. You obey the law when you obey the Messenger. Isn't that beautiful, man? That Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has sent us someone, a walking, talking, living, eating, sleeping individual that we can follow. And in following in his footsteps, Alhamdulillah, we'll be guided. We'll be guided. Allah says, وَمَنْ يَشَاكَ كِرْ رَسُولَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيْنَ وَلَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبَى غَيْرَ سَبِيلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نَوَلَيْ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُسْلِهِ جَهَنَّمَا وَسَائِدْ مَصِيرَ Whoever is in shiqaq, opposition, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about like water and all, they don't mix at all. You see, that's like somebody coming in here with a crucifix on, talking about you got a lot of pork chops. We don't go, it won't mix, it won't carry, it won't fly. Not in this deal. So whatever is in opposition with the prophet, after the guidance has been made clear to him, we get tempted to believe. And he follows the way other than the believers. Who are the believers? Are we the believers? I'm a we believer. But the Prophet saw some said, Chiron has Karni. Thumma nabini alunum. Thumma nabini alunum. The best of people of my generation, those who follow them and those who follow them, those are the believers. This is where Islam is established. This is where we get our Islam from. This is where we establish the halal from Haram. This is it. The first three generations. Our Salaf al Salih. The Sahaba. The Tabayin. The Taba Tabayin. And those who follow them in goodness. This is where we establish our people. So Allah said, you follow away other than believers. We will leave them in that which he has chosen. You want to be on that Dalala? You want to be on that Kufa, that Shirk, that Bidah? We'll leave you there. We'll just leave you in the mouth and toss you in the hell's fire. What's that, Monsieur? And what a wretched, hapless Jew he's in. Imagine. Fasting, praying, giving zakat, doing the things you're supposed to be your whole life, and then you get crossed up. You get crossed up. You know, some bitter, some foolishness. Alhamdulillah, the great Imam of Dawah Hijri, Imam Malik, I've said this several times in this minbar, and inshallah, if you bless me to wake up, I'll probably say it several more times. But the Sunnah is like this. It's a field to myth. It's like the Ark of Noah. Ride on it, embark upon it, and you'll be saved. Abandon it, and you'll be drowned. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. Ukhti. Barakallah fikum jamea, brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you all. May he bless us all with the understanding of the Sunnah, with the love of the Sunnah. You know, read the Sirah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Read the Sirah. And part of the Sunnah is being around good people. Part of the Sunnah is being around good people. A third time, part of the Sunnah is being around good people, having good friends. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi gives a beautiful example, a parable, in which he says, he, he equates companionship in two types. One, the first companion is the seller of misk, like Brother Abu Karim over there, he has the oils over there. The seller of oils, beautiful fragrances. You have benefits in there. The first benefit, he might give you a gift. 
Massad might hook you up and break you off a little bottle. You see, he might hook you up, inshallah. The second benefit, you may buy a bottle. And what a beautiful transaction between the righteous. It's halal. What a beautiful transaction. Allah will bless that. And the third benefit is if Musad doesn't break you off a bottle and you don't have any money, then at least being around the atmosphere, the ambiance, you capture some of the smell. You shake hands with the brother, you embrace the brother, and some of the fragrance will rub off on you. So this is beneficial. Either he'll give you a, a, a bottle, and the Prophet said, Had had do but the hook boo. Give gifts, exchange gifts and love. And that brings about love. And that brings about love between us. That brings about a closeness of the hearts, of the spirits, when we share with each other. Secondly, it's halal commerce. You know, you buy. And thirdly, just being around him, just being around him, you take some of the fragrance. Now the other example of the companion is the one who works in the blacksmith with the fire and the steel and the iron. Stanky job. Yeah. And you either get burnt from the embers or the smell of the iron and the metal melting will come on your clothes. And you'll leave there smelling like that. You ever been in a, in, a, in a place where people are smoking cigarettes? And you come out and you smell just like an ashtray. You smell just like an ashtray. And for our brothers who do smoke, we're not trying to point you out or highlight you, put you on blast. You know, but the, the angels don't like bad smells. The Prophet saw some has already forbade people coming to the master eating onions and garlic. So if you stand in the shop next to a brother who just got some blown off a pack, you know, for those of us who don't smoke, it's, it's a little, uh, it's a little tough to take. It's a little tough to take, so, you know, try to keep that in mind. Get in that. Get in that. So having good companions is part of the sunnah. It's part of the sunnah. And when the Mahajirin went to Medina, to meet the Ansar. What the Prophet Sassam did is he coupled them. He, co he paired them off. A Mahajir and an Ansar. You see? And the type of deen they had was this. Abdul Rahman bin Auf, very rich man. He was a merchant. When he came to Medina, you know, he left all his belongings. And he hooked up with one of the Ansar, and the Ansar told him, listen, brother, I have two wives. You pick the one you want. He didn't give him the one that he'd been with for several years, had several children, cumulose, boisterous, a little vocal sometimes. He didn't give her that. He said, pick the one you want. Pick the one you want. This is the deal. This is the deal. The brother recited the uh, hadith last week. Let uh, me know how to go. How to you hit by the may you hit by the next. And in that, he said, you don't believe, you don't have iman unless you love your brother with love yourself. That's the translation. But it doesn't mean that you don't have iman. It means that your iman has a chink in it. It's not complete. You don't have iman common. Your iman is not complete until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. These were the Sahaba. This is the mindset that they had. And in the end of the day, this is the mindset we can have with each other, inshallah. I couldn't call it hell. I couldn't call it hell. Alhamdulillah, 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 alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, this deen of Al Islam is a beautiful thing. Allah says, 
واعتصموا بالحج الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم داء فألف بين قلوبهم فاسبحتم بنعمة إخوانا Oh you who believe, oh you people of Iman Hold on to the Holy Lord The Quran and the Sunnah, don't be divided Don't be divided You know in sign, Nas You say it comes from the word Nasiyah, he forgot so Allah reminds us, what's going to live into Allah Ya'naqa? And remember Allah's favor on you. Don't be unmindful of it. Remember Allah's favor upon us. If kuntum That we were enemies for stupid reasons. You lived across the track and I lived on this side. So I didn't like you. I didn't get with you. And you better not get caught over my side. And I better not get caught over your side. So I was fast when I was little. I could move. I had to. I had to. Because I was mischievous. I was always on the other side, seeing what they was doing. Trying to get at their girls. Trying to do this and trying to. Just being rebellious. Just being rebellious. So, man, I got tired of my not getting paid. So I learned how to run. So Allah said, we were enemies one to another. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, put love between us. Fala fa bena falukin. That's actually the empathy of Juan. It was by his favor, by his mercy, by his grace, that we became brothers and sisters in his people. Look at the Quraysh. How they used to fight over stupid things. They were the eastern equivalent of the Hatfields and the McCoys in America. Read a whole history, you know about the Hatfields and McCoys. Something happened 20 years ago. You stepped on my foot. You kicked my mule or whatever. Something stupid. And they battled hundreds of years over this. And this is how we were, man. You wore red, I wore blue. Shaitan, move the blind and dialect, put things between our hearts to make us enemies to one another. And it was only by the permission, the mercy, and the grace. Of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we became brothers. That we had love between our hearts for each other. It's only that, man. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it there. He blessed us to be able to swim our hearts. He subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us. He put us there. And so we have to be very, 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 very thankful. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in an authentic hadith said, That the man or the woman, one of the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things of the Islamic language, is when Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, speaks about the ummah of men and women, the masculine tense is used. When he speaks to the man, the masculine tense is used. When he speaks to the woman, the feminine tense is used. So he says, I read you Allah Dini Khalidi. The man is on the deal of his friend. And this is not the only meaning, you know, maybe following him in, in, in uh, his deen, but it means his akhlaq, his mannerisms, <coughs> how he deals with people. As they say in the street, water seeks its own level. If you got a slick and a fly guy, you don't want, you don't want to run with a stumble bone. We want to be with people who are like us. So the Prophet said, I read Allah Dini Khalili. Fayendo. So look, examine, pay close attention to that person. Fayendo. So look, examine the person who you call your friend, who you befriend. You see? In English, we just have a word, friend. In Arabic, there's several words. You can be Sadiq. Sahab, Rafiq. Rafiq is a real, real close friend. Huh? Rafiq, real close friend. So he said, this is my Rafiq. You know that, hey man, this guy get, he get passes that everybody else don't get. He can come to the crib and eat. Well, you might have to stand on the porch and get your plate. Alhamdulillah. You know, 
So take and close, <coughs> examine closely those who we befriend, who we take in our close confidants. This is what the Sahaba did, man. If we look back at the Sirah of the Prophet, some of us, the Sahaba, we see what made them so successful. They loved one another, irregardless of where they came from. You had Bilal, the African, Suhail, the uh, uh, Salman of Farsi, the Persian. Yes, Sahel came from Europe. You know, you had different people from different ethnicities, different backgrounds, but they mended together, they meshed together for one cause, and that cause was to uplift the word. That you know, was law. That was it. They loved one another. They fought for one another. They supported one another. You support your brother if he's being oppressed or if he's the oppressor. And they asked him, yeah, Rasul also so. We now support the brother when he's <coughs> oppressed, but how do we support him when he's the oppressor? He said, stop him from oppressing. You see, a friend will tell you things sometimes that you may not want to hear. You know, a lot of us, we want to, I think the word is Matt Naive, yes ma'am, flunky. We want that guy to push us up. Boost us up all the time. No, you, a friend will tell you, no, nah, you were wrong. No, what you mean? You were wrong, right? If our friendship, mashallah, if it goes up, mashallah. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a fair law and speak the truth. You were wrong. You were wrong. And you either accept it or whatever, man. Or we can go back to the days of Jali. Then after that, we can go sip a cup of tea and mend our wounds together. Our khawad, brothers and sisters, know that to have love in our hearts for one another, this is part of the sunnah. This is part of the sunnah. To obey the messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is to obey Allah. This is the thing. Our khawad, brothers and sisters, if you're not, I'm not going to read really quickly. Get in there. The work of our Prophet Muhammad goes on here in Masjid al Aqaba, spreading the message of Islam around Dao efforts and maintaining excellent Islamic instruction. Every believer shares an obligation to bring the message of Islam to the people. Dawa. Dawa. There's a very famous story when the Prophet saw someone to Ta'if. People say Ta'if. The Taif is more correct. And they stoned him. They stoned him. We have to give dawah. Sometimes that dawah may not be real pretty. Sometimes the people may not be very, very receptive of it. Because let's, let's be real. When you come to them with the message of Islam, you're shaking the very foundations of that kufr and shirk that they believe in, that they've been raised upon, that I was raised upon. I was raised upon. I remember. I was the first black altar boy in our church. Not having problems with the priest. Either. But I was the first black altar boy in the church. I'm not Kufa, man. Remember a, a prayer they had, Holy Mary, Mother of God. What? Now that we think about it, now the Lord's brother has given us our, our uh, sanity. Yakujuna min zulimati lenor. He took us out of those different forms of darknesses to the light of Al-Islam. We look at someone and say, man, what the hell was that? Holy Mary, Mother of God. <laughs> man, holy, think about that. What cook? What shirt? My hope, woo. And that same mouth that said that, now the Quran comes out. Alhamdulillah. So it says we provide opportunity to many non-believers in the vicinity of the Master and very adequately meets much of our obligation for Dawah to the downtrodden people on the outnet. Huh? That means they're not, they're not in the mix. They're not in the mix. The charity box Mark Dawah after will give continuing support, ongoing need. Islamic classes and Arabic classes will be regularly scheduled Sunday of Salat al and also uh, Thursday after Salat al uh, Special dawahs every Wednesday. I'm going to try to make it, man. Sometimes I'm going to try. 
a thousand wears me out sometimes. Um, I go to bed at six and wake up at six. You can provide assistance to the Muslim families and Muslim individuals who need the Box Mom Family Fund. There's no Shura board meeting today. Alhamdulillah. And that's our brother Ali Zarif. Mashallah, the brother Richard, brother from Brother Street. He has the halal meat over there. He has the jizaj and the lahm bakra, the chicken and the beef. Halal. Mashallah. Not kosher. Not almost. But it's halal. Mashallah. So, you know, whenever we can, we should support the Muslim businesses and we should try to eat halal, dress halal, you know, do these things. <clears throat> because the very famous hadith when the man came, said he was dusty and his hair was disheveled and just matted and everything. And he got down and he raised his hands up to the sky and said, Yet up, yet up. And the Prophet Sallallahu said his food was haram, his drink was haram, his clothing was haram. He was nourished on Quran, on Quran. Can you expect the answer? We ask Allah to protect the Muslims throughout the world. Amen. The Muslims, the Mujahideen, the Kulim Makan. Allahumma kfali makbuni wa makbinat. Wa muslimin wa muslimat. Wa mawahideen wa mawahidat. Ayyahu min humma na wait. Bi rahmat. Ya hamar rahimin. Allahumma iyaaka na'abud. وَلَكَ نُسَلِّي وَنَسْجُدْ اللهم لك حمد كله ولك شكر كله ويجي لك أمر كله وبي لك خير كله وبي لك خير كله وبي لك خير كله برحمتك يا أمها أمين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي الآخرة سبحانك اللهم وبيهمك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفر الله وأتوب إليك سبحان الرب قراب حزة عم يصفون والسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين وقيم الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفشائل